You ready? We'll get to the math in a moment, but first I have a shout out. This one goes out to Davenport University in Michigan. Ready, 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 ready? Okay, what are we trying to do? We're trying to solve for why. Why? Well, this particular guy has implications and interest when you get to graphing lines. You can put it into y equals mx plus b. That's not what we're doing here, see? What are we doing? We're trying to solve for the indicated variable. They have indicated that they want us to solve for y. And we will. But first, we have to get rid of the friends before we get rid of the more than friends. What am I talking about, friends? I'm talking about, um... You undo the addition before you undo the multiplication. And here we go. So what I want to do to one side, I must also do onto the other. I subtract off an AX, and I subtract off an AX. Yes, why? Because it's the addition rule of equality. What you do onto one side, you must also do onto the other. So we're taking an AX off each side, we're taking an AX off each side, and when we do, divide. Uh, uh, oh, and oh boy, I'm left with BY is equal to C, wait for it, wait for it, minus AX, because we took that off of both sides. So then now we want to undo this multiplication. How do we undo the multiplication? With a little bit of division in our lives. Because what we do on the one side, we must also do on to the other. We divide the left side by B, and we divide the right side by B, and then we are left with Y is going to be. Wait for it. Wait for it. C minus AX all over B. Oh boy. And at that point, you know. But we can also unadd those fractions. What am I talking about? Well, picture this. Mm -hmm. If you had 1 over 4 plus, mm, let's say, 5 over 4, that's so improper. If we had had this, can we add those fractions the way they are? Yeah, see, we have a common denominator, so we can add their numerators, and we can say that that's going to be 1 plus 5 all over 4. Some of you guys go quickly to 6, but I'm like, wait a minute. I want to go backwards. If I have a sum on top, I can split the fractions just like that, and that is what I want to do right here. Here we have um, a sum or difference as it is. It doesn't really make a difference. I want to go ahead and I want to split those fractions because this is an alternate form of your answer. So then this y is going to be c over b minus ax over b. And then that alternatively would be another answer. Yeah. Ooh. Either one. Grow a pair of flowers, because we like her, and we like her too. I think they like us too, young money.